welcome to Miami. Hey, my name is Nina, aka Your Girl Means, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you all my travel tips for taking on Miami on a budget. The weather is beautiful, and I like to go around February or March because it's still warm, but it's not super hot like in the summer months. There are great beaches all along the coast, and no matter where you're staying in Miami, there's always one not too far away, and the best part is that they're all free to go to. So here are my top suggestions for neighborhoods and budget-friendly food spots that you have to check out while you're here. South Beach is a tourism hotspot, and when you think of Miami, this is probably what comes to mind. This is honestly my favorite beach that we went to because the water was so shallow for a long way out, so it's great to be able to go far into the water and still be able to stand up. All along South Beach is Ocean Drive, which is known for its well-preserved art deco, glamorous restaurants and cafes, and nightclubs. As you can imagine, these spots can get quite pricey, but if it's in the budget, grabbing a drink on one of the many patios and people watching is a fantastic post-beach activity. If you're looking to shop, or rather window shop, you'll want to check out Lincoln Road. It's a world-famous shopping street that's lined with great outdoor shopping, restaurant patios, and galleries. There's also Española Way, just a few blocks away, that's a cute little pedestrian strip lined with palm trees and twinkle lights where you can find live music and even more food options. But eating in South Beach can be super pricey, so my go-to budget-friendly eat in South Beach is La Sandwichery. They have a super extensive menu, and the prices range anywhere from $6 to $11, and it comes loaded with veggies and toppings. We got the Frenchie and the Terminator, and we definitely could have just shared one sandwich because they were huge. But no matter what you end up getting, make sure that you top it off with their very own magic sauce. It is fantastic. Just east of South Beach is Wynwood, which is personally my favorite neighborhood in Miami. The area is known for its colorful mural walls that line every building in the area, and the area's main attraction is Wynwood Walls, an outdoor museum of large-scale artworks by world-famous street artists. Entry is free, which is great, and while they do have tours available starting at $20, I always choose to forego the tour and just take it at my own pace. The surrounding area is filled with art galleries, craft breweries, and hip warehouses converted into good eats. It's a great place to spend the day admiring the art and checking out the chic boutiques, and if you stick around till nighttime, there are great late night bars as well. Our favorite place to grab a budget-friendly bite is none other than Koyo Taco. Every taco order ranges from $6 to $10 and comes with two tacos, which is great for sharing. We grabbed the Al Pastor, which was my personal fave, carnitas, and carne asada, but you honestly can't go wrong with any of them. There's also a secret bar in the back of Koyo Taco that comes alive at night, but you'd never be able to tell from the restaurant storefront. And just east of Wynwood is Little Havana, home to the one and only Mr. 305 and Miami's vibrant historical Cuban neighborhood. Little Havana is a hub for cigar smoking patrons, live Latin music, and fantastic Cuban food. We just happened to visit Little Havana on the day of their Gay 8 festival, which was super unexpected, but such a fun way to explore the area. And that being said, there are so many free festivals and street fairs happening in and around Miami constantly, so make sure to look out for what's happening while you're staying, and it might be fun to check out some of them. There are fantastic food spots all along Cayocho, and if you're a fan of coffee, this is the place for you. Cuban coffee is a staple in Miami and it's what keeps the city buzzing. And Dayon's favorite is a colada, which can cost anywhere from $1.25 to $3 depending on where you go. But be warned, it's super caffeinated at three to six shots, and it's made to be shared, but if you're crazy like Dayon, then you'll down two all by yourself. I'm like in love with you. Our favorite food spot is just a short little drive east of the main part of Gaiocho, and it is none other than the infamous Versailles. Versailles is probably one of the best known restaurants in all of Miami, serving authentic Cuban fare. The wait can be quite long depending on when you go, but luckily for us, the longest we've ever had to wait was 10 minutes for a table. The food is surprisingly affordable for how popular the place is, and they have daily specials if you need help deciding and if you want to save a couple bucks. I would definitely recommend getting the Cuban sandwich if it's your first time trying Cuban food because it is popular for a reason. And if you're anywhere in Miami and looking for a budget food spot in a pinch, Pollo Tropical is our go-to. It's a fast food joint based in Miami that specializes in Caribbean cuisine, and you can grab a Tropi Chop bowl, which features a base, meat, and veggie toppings of your choice, all for just $5. Like, it is crazy. We usually order one each, but on days where we just want a quick bite, you could easily share one between two people. So that is my complete guide to Miami on a budget. Make sure you check out my IG for photos of my trip, and if you want to see more videos from me, follow slice underscore TV on Instagram or visit slice.ca.